Hello, everybody. Hello, Welcome. good evening. Good evening, good afternoon, depending on which side of the country you're living on. Yeah, when Welcome. is it? It's afternoon here, but evening back there because it's after six. So anything, anywhere after okay. six is then considered evening. Very cool. Yeah. All right, everyone, welcome. I am going to share this really quick. Um, we are making our live Christmas shirt, so I'm super excited. So I'm going to share this with you guys uh, a few places, and then once I'm done, we are going to dive right in. We're going to mm -hmm. start from scratch and show you what we're doing, and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, and we'll tell you the little story. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Love it, Karen. Hey, Carol. Hi, Melissa. Nancy. Hello. Desiree. Denise. Um, Arc. Artistically creative. Hello. It is a cute cover, isn't it? Hans. Emily. Hello. Change is good. Hello. Yeah, if it's after six, it's evening. At least we're not as late as we normally are, so this is kind of nice. That's mostly because we have a get together with your old boss. Well, or it could just be my friend. Could be your friend too. It's your friend slash old boss. She's great. Her husband's wonderful. Great people. Yes. All right, guys. So welcome to the live. Nice. Couple of things I wanted to chat about. First of all, we are live on. Ken's Creations Facebook page, mm -hmm. Ken's Creations YouTube, and Twitch. If your resolution is not up to your par, make sure to hop over to Twitch because it's got the very, very good resolution. Yes, so, it does. All right. So as you're coming in, say hello. I just want to explain to you guys a couple things. Number one, as promised, I'm giving everyone a big heads up, a big alert, so you guys all know that next week... That is next week, starting December 16th through December 20th. You can bake with Ken's Creations and his team. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We're making almond roca and peanut butter balls and Santa surprise cookies and copycat take-alongs and coconut date balls and chocolate caramel balls. And I am saying balls a lot, but coconut <laughs> macaroons and Oreo truffles and butterscotch drops. It's all coming back. It's all coming so back. So we are um, doing this on Twitch for a couple of reasons. Number one, it has way better resolution. Mm -hmm. um, number two, we are, uh, my team has a master plan. We're giving away something. I don't even know what we're giving away, but we're giving away something. And this way we try other social media platforms. Twitch is free. It does not cost you. Mm -hmm. We can give you the link and you can watch it. Yep. Um, we have a video Which about Twitch, did. all of that kind of stuff. Yep. So, um, Anyways, that's what's going on there. Alrighty, everybody. A couple other things. Down below in the links, I have a link to the Ken's Creations VIP group. Make sure you join that group. That's where all of our very important information and bundles and deals go. And I have a Chocotour Opportunity Group. So if you are someone that has been reaching out to me and saying, hey, I think I want to be part of Chocotour. How does that work? That's the group for you. Yep. And back by popular demand. Ooh, what's that? And this comes with the disclosure. Many, many, many of you have asked, will something ever come back? Will something ever get taken out of the vault? Hmm. Will you guys ever do this? And yes, we will be doing a Ken and Sean show this Friday evening. Ooh. You do have to be part of that group, <laughs> but a little bit of a warning. It is an adult humor group. It is not an adult channel, i.e. porn. No. It is just where we talk and sometimes say bad words or talk about inappropriate subjects. So if you don't like that, don't join. Please, Please don't. don't join. But, uh, it, but if you do if and if tea, your come fans, over. come on over. It will be this Friday mm -hmm. and we'll prove everyone we that's been asking. I didn't know we were doing it that soon. <laughs> yep, that soon. Oh. Um, and I'm trying to get back to where we'll be doing at least one of those a month now that our life is getting a little bit mm -hmm. uh, less chaotic. Yeah. Uh, before we get started with the project, this file is an exclusive file for my Patreon members. If you don't know what Patreon is, head over to my Patreon page. You can support us by even just giving two dollars a month and it gives you access to all the files mm -hmm. i currently have all the past files 
this file that I made is, we'll explain here in a second, um, is our t-shirt for this year. And we'll get into that in just one sec. Before we get into the project, I do want to quickly cover sales because some of these sales, you guys, are too good to pass up. Cricut sale ends today. Today is the last day of this sale. So this sale, can you do lower third? I sure this can. sale is 50% off all materials, 50% off all tools, 40% off infusible ink. Plus, if you're an Access member, you get an additional 10% off. And if you use my coupon code 10Ken, 10Ken, it takes another 10% off. Yep. So it is an insane deal, and I'm pretty sure it ends today and the new stuff will start tomorrow. Plus, if you spend $100 or more on materials, you get a knife blade for free, which is crazy. Ooh. So nice. once again, that's 50% off materials, 50% off tools and accessories, 40% off um, infusible ink. Silhouette America has extended their Black Friday sale. So these machines, you can get the Cameo 4 for $2.99. You can get 50% off their materials and tools. You just need to use my coupon code KKBUNDLE on that one. Amazon has some amazing 12 days of sales, including our Opal Ice Machine. It is still $349 to $379. It is one of my favorite things in my house. I use my ice machine all day long and crunch sure. ice. I love it. Yep. So go check it out. I have gotten so many questions from you guys on what a Glowforge is, why do we have it, and why do we love it. Essentially, a Glowforge is a laser cutting machine that cuts wood in seconds. That's how we make a lot of our stuff. That's how we made the little gingerbread man. And it is a little bit of an investment, but if you use our link, you'll get $500 off. $500. And it is probably the the most favorite thing, Sean, has ever liked that I bought for my crafting adventures. <laughs> he loves his Glowforge. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. All right, guys. So those are all the sales, the deals, all the goodness. If you don't know what a Glowforge is, I do have a video for you down there. Whew, if you have questions, let us know. Okay, so on to today's project. So for those of you who do not know, um, my mom passed away in 2004. Mm -hmm. And before she passed away, she did all of our holiday baking. Um, she didn't do a lot of cookies, but she did a lot of candies. And when I took over Christmas Eve, my mom came to me and said, if you're taking over Christmas Eve, you need to do all the baking. So three years prior to her passing away, we literally every year had my mom come over and show me how to do all of her baking. And she showed how, Sean how to do almond roca because I don't have patience for almond roca because you have to stir and stir and stir and I don't have patience. And so that was three years and I am so thankful we did that because obviously we did not know she was gonna pass and when she did, I had all of her recipes, I knew how to make it. So for tradition, we've kept that going for the past 14 years? Yeah, she died 2004, it's 15, 15 years. years. Yep. Um, and like her, her almond roca recipe I think is the best and Sean makes it perfection. Um, and you guys have kept asking us, please, please share it with us because it's so much fun. Well, when we do it, we wear our Christmas pajamas. So we also have another tradition where every year we would buy Christmas pajamas and then make tops to match it. For those of you who do not remember, last year it was Buffalo plaid. Oh. Mm. The year before that it was Snoopy and we made a Snoopy shirt. The year before that it was Stormtroopers with Stormtrooper shirt. So we are excited to debut what our pajama pants look like this year and why I have chosen this theme. So I saw these. Let's go to the bottom camera you for a second. So I found these at Walmart, and I am right. obsessed we're with them. We need to readjust the camera. So it is like ugly sweater, but pajamas. I love them. They're not super like fleece, which I didn't want because I get really hot in fleece. But they have like this moose, like looking at each other, <laughs> and the snowflake and these trees. But I wanted to make a shirt with it. And originally I was going to do the moose in like um, pattern HTV, but I decided to do another shirt. And Sean loves North Face. He is bald. He has to wear little beanie caps and he gets them all at North Face. And I was sitting there and I saw, and I was like, I need it. So I created the North Face pole which looks like north face if you don't know what north face looks like it's basically this logo and then says the north lines. face with yeah the things here so we are going to create this this file is exclusive for my patreon so if you want it head over there um and it's all ready to go so we're going to show you how to upload it into mm -hmm. cricut design space we're going to cut it we're going to weed it we're going to do it all together and look at how good that's going to look with it I know. it's going to be perfect so um 
if we don't have any questions, Sean, let's just dive right in. Oh, we got tons of, uh, tons of questions already about where exactly will we be for the Ken and Sean show and how do I get Ooh. to join? So the Ken and Sean show, first of all, let me tell you, <laughs> it is a group that is cursing adult situations, adult humor, and or possibly wine and edible use. Make sure uncomfortable. Do not join. Please do not join. Please don't join. But if it's your tech company. But if you like to laugh and see the true, authentic, off-the-wall Ken, you want to join that group. It's literally called the Ken and Sean Show official group. We do have a link wherever you're watching that should say the Ken and Sean Show official group and then in parentheses, warning, this is an adult humor page. Right. Because I've had people join the page and then watch it and they're like, this isn't the Ken and Sean I know. And they get really mad at us. Yes. They're like... So I, I like to give that little disclosure. So yeah. yes, that is, and it will be this Friday. Yeah, so just go there. It'll tell you exactly what to do. And then after that, because it looks like Diana McCauley just found it and, and it's all good to go. So if get you there. have asked to be part of that group in the past year and I haven't approved you, I approved everyone today. So so yeah, everybody that has asked is good. Yes. And what was the other question I was going to ask? I don't know. I don't remember. I'll, I'll think of it in a minute. Okay, so supplies-wise, I just want um, to go over quickly what supplies I'm going to be using today. So if we can go to this camera mm -hmm. again, um, we are going to be using the Cricut Maker. You could use this file, though, with any machine mm -hmm. that allows for SVG, PNG, JPEG uploads. We are going to be using the 12 by 10 Easy Press, and we're stuck. Hopefully, we're not stuck on everything. Um, Let me do this. There it goes. Are we good? Okay, um, okay. so uh, we're also going to be using a, the blue is my favorite mat. I just bought a whole bunch of these on the sale because they're half off and then 10% off and 10% off. I love the blue mat. We have the Cricut Iron-On Protective Sheet, which is like $3.99. We're actually gonna be using a brand new um, HTV. Mm -hmm. um, I do have Cricut HTV, but this stuff is pretty sweet. It's StarCraft. So over at my friend's uh, 651 vinyl site, 651, you use uh, Get 5 to get 5% off. It comes in a wide variety of colors. And I have to say, like, 10 seconds and this stuff is good to go. And it it's almost feels like it's part of the shirt. Almost. It's crazy. It's really nice. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. So we're going to give it another go because we only needed 6 inches and I, don't, I hate wasting iron-on. Like, I hate it. All right, we are also using... We will also be using my favorite weeding tool. Now, Cricut has a good weeding tool set that I will use, but this is my all-time favorite weeding tool. It's from Caesar. I don't know if we are stuck. Give me one sec here, everyone. I'm going to see if... What happens if we go over to my camera real quick? It's fine here. Let me go to Twitch. And it's see fine, it. so it might be just on your thing. No, it's it was frozen on Twitch too. Since Twitch is like, I only think it's 10 these cords you're using. It oh, could, it's Wi-Fi. It's though. Wi-Fi. I don't know what to tell you, Sean. Hence you why. need to figure it out. That's the second time this has happened. We can't do it. Ooh. Could dogs. you be so kind? <laughs> these dogs. Sorry, and guys. Now even this one's frozen. Oh, there it goes. I don't. I personally think it's our internet, but we're canceling it anyways. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry that this is happening. Yep. We're going to cancel our internet that we got from CenturyLink and go back to Quest because I can't do this. Calm fast. Let's see. Yeah, we're sex. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec here. We're going to make sure we can get caught up. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. So let's go to this camera. And if we get stuck again, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so we had this 12 by 12. I went ahead and uh, unhooked this, and or unhooked it, cut it in half. We're gonna be using half of that. Now, uh, these are tweezers from 651. They are called Stab and Go. You can stab it, but there are tweezers which we'll need for this file. I'm using the Cricut Fabric scissors, and then a lint roller, whatever your, your jam is for a lint roller. In a few seconds, we will show you our desktop here and then we'll get going. I'm going to turn on my ease. Well, I don't have to turn it on quite yet. Okay. It doesn't take too long. Okay. Let me go ahead and get my 
desktop shared here with you, you all beautiful people. There it is. All right. So here is the file. So if you've never worked with Cricut Design Space, we'll just go ahead and take away that file. You would just save your file onto your desktop and then just hit upload image, browse, and look for it. So this is in my t-shirts Patreon. And then I have it right there, the North Pole. And then you just hit open. Since this file is ready to go, you have no background to get rid of or anything. You just hit continue and look at that. You can save it as a print and cut file or a cut file, um, which is what we would do. I've already saved this, so I don't have to save it again. Um, but then if you want to see where it is, I actually uploaded this a long time ago. If you hit view all on your uploaded images, all of your images come up and there is my North Pole image right there. So a couple things before I get going wild and crazy on this thing. This does have a lot of things where it is very small cut. So keep that in mind. And you can use templates. I am not big on templates. I just like to measure it based on the shirt. So uh, what I usually do is, we'll go back to that camera. Mm -hmm. We grab our shirt, which is this guy right here, which I just got at Target. It's just a... Uh, um, like they're five dollar or six dollar shirts because we usually only wear these like one time a year Which is during our baking and then you know stuff. So what I do is I have Sean measure So the max that Cricut can cut on a 12 by 12 is going to be 11.5 so 11.5 going this way actually is Exactly about where I want it to be. So if we go back to my desktop and I put in that number for up here on size, if I do 11.5, it automatically adjusts it to basically 5.5 for the, the size. So we can go back to this mm -hmm. camera and you can see that I am going to be right about here. That's how wide the, the image will be, okay? And we actually, some people do three fingers, we do four fingers. Uh, so our, our design will start here. So that's a pretty good size. I like yeah, that. It's a really nice size. So let's hop back to the computer, Sean, if you there don't you mind. We're there. Hi, so Sally. since I know that this is the image I want to do, we are at 11 and a half. I can just go to make it. Now, this is very important. I cannot stress this enough because you will do it. There is a little mirror there that says, dude, I think you're using iron-on or you're using iron-on. Mm -hmm. If you're using iron-on or HTV in this case, you need to make sure to mirror it because what will happen is you will cut it, you will weed it, and then you'll turn it over and you'll go, oh, crap, I forgot to weed it or I forgot to mirror it and then you wasted all that material. Uh -huh. So um, we are going to, you would hit mirror. Now, here's a great thing. Let's say we don't hit mirror because we're, uh, you know, we're a cotton head and ninny muggins. So I'm gonna turn on my maker here. If you choose your material as iron on, your machine will say, whoa, whoa, Nelly, simmer down now. We try, think try again. you have iron on. So if I choose iron on and I say, do, 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 it'll say, make sure mirror is turned on and iron on material is face shiny side down on the mat. So it even gives me a warning. However, even a step further, if I load my mat with iron-on into it, let me show you what happens here. Ooh, my cord is caught. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. Now, your iron-on does need to be shiny side down. So it's kind of hard on this one to see which one's shiny side is, but basically if you kind of roll it in the light, your hyper glossy side is gonna go down because that is what you call your carrier sheet. The carrier sheet. So you wanna make sure that is face down. Hey Gina, how are you? Thanks for coming. So I'm gonna just put down this really quick. And oh, we must have unplugged somehow. Uh oh. I got it. Don't you worry. Don't you know? So we have a quick question. If sure. a cartridge is linked to another account, it is useless on the maker. It is. 
If it's linked to another Cricut.com account, you are not able to use it. It's only used with that account. Yep. If you have the physical cartridge, though, you can link it to your account. But yeah, or you would have to sign in under that person's account to use it. True, true, true. Yes. So my since my maker came undone, I am going to just relink it here really quick. You can go back over there, Sean. So um, I have a maker, I have an Explorer Air and Explorer 2. So the maker is Bluetooth. So that's why you see that little circle going around and around and around. It's trying to find my Bluetooth. You'll know it is connected to your maker because the power button will go from white to blue. And once you're on blue, you should be able to select your material. And we're just going to load it at this point. And now we would normally hit go. But remember, right here, we have this warning. Make sure mirror is turned on. You're using iron on. So if you forgot to do that like we did, all you have to do is hit edit and say, oh, I forgot. Mirror on. Just like that. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Now, because we are using iron on, we get to use fast mode. Fast mode allows you to quite cut twice as fast if you have an Explore Air 2 or the Maker, and you can cut twice as fast on Iron-On HTV, Vinyl, and Cardstock. So that's what we're going to choose. And now, that is, um, oh, true. yeah, you probably don't want that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want that one. Sorry about that. Let's go. Okay, I, can do, I can do this. No, I can't. So all we have to do is hit this. And what the Cricut Maker will do is it's going to detect the tool over here. So if you are using the right tool, it's going to do it and it's going to line it up and then it's going to start cutting. And the nice piece that this is perfectly sized that we could actually use one sheet versus two. Yes. We got to so do that. So because of we only wanted to go at 11.5, the file was a max of 5.5. And because of that, we got to use it on just one sheet. So we did have two of the uh, Bright White Starcraft HTV, but we didn't need it for that. So as this is cutting, I'm going to turn on my... Your mic did go off again. See, I told you. Let me put some... It just put... goes off. Yeah, but see it. Oh, it's blinking red, that's why. Batteries are dead. Batteries are dead. I wish it had a better... Like a battery warning system? Yeah. Your really fancy ones actually tell you um, the battery life on them. Well, we're possibly moving this anyways and getting new mics, so. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So as this is cutting, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Easy Press. This is the big boy, big girl, whatever, whatever. 12 by 10. Um, and for StarCraft HTV, we need it 285 for only 10 seconds. So I can hit the temperature gauge here, it tells me it's 285, I can hit the time that tells me it's 10 seconds and let it heat up. I'm gonna put this up. Now what I love, I do love about the Easy Press is I can literally hold this in the safety base and not burn myself, which nope. is very nice. So we have a quick question. Yes. Is the Explore Air 2 Cricut an okay one? It's a great one. It's a great, it's a great I machine. love the Explorer Air 2. So I always tell people, it depends on what you're using your machine for, but if you are someone who ever thinks they are gonna cut fabric, wood, or do a lot of 3D projects, it's worth the money to get the, the maker because yep. it comes with an adaptive tool system and it grows with the machine. But the Explorer Air 2 is a wonderful machine. It's gonna be able to cut pretty much everything that you're going to want to cut right at first. So vinyl, iron-on, cardstock. You can cut um, uh, uh, fabric on it. You just need to back it, bonded fabric. Um, but it's a great machine. I love the Explorer too. Mm -hmm. I have it in gold. Gold? Yeah, remember the gold one. Oh, yeah. Um, I think one of our main reasons that our internet's a little problematic is because our Orbi mesh system can't do the high, high speeds except for upload. Down is a little, mm. little different, but if we were to ever upgrade that, I think we'd have a lot better. But because but it's going to upload, so I don't think it should make a difference. No, it's the download is when these are talking to each other. Oh, gotcha. That's, that's what it is. So once we ever get to that 
point. No, we have okay. to cancel it anyways because Sean didn't know we were in a contract with Comcast and they won't let us out of it. I did, but it's very expensive yeah. to get out of it. So we can go ahead and eject this out of the machine. We are all done with the maker, so I'm going to turn it off and unplug it. I can put this bad mamma jam over here. Okay, so this is up to you on how you like to weed. Some people do have a bright pad and the bright pad, if you turn it on, especially on the highest uh, setting, so it goes all the way down, all the way up, you're able to see where the, well, you won't be able to see because it's just over modulating it, but you will be able to, he's going to knock that over. All right. um, you will be able to see it. So this is a great way, but I don't want to blind you guys while I weed. So I'm not going to use that, but these are only 49 bucks right now at cricket.com. So if you have never gotten a bright pad, now's the time. Because when they came what? out, they were $99, and now they're $49. What? All right, so I'm going to weed really quick. So when I weed, I grab my mat that has my logo on it. Thank you very much. Not planned. That's a oopsie dooley by Shawnee. Um, and what I do is I always... You unplug the light, Sean. Oh, I told the cord is... Oh. <laughs> We are not lit now. So I'm just going to, um, his cords are a mess down there, you guys. Yep. I'm just heating this and then I can put down my carrier sheet and heat this up. So this is going to allow for me to weed a little bit quicker because you're basically getting that adhesive nice and warm. And soft. So, and soft, so beautiful. Oh, wait, do I have my carrier sheet the right way? I do. Okay. Um, and now look at this because it's been, you giving it a time to, you know, just kind of chillax. We can just nicely weed it all off and you are golden. Was there a question? Cause it sounded like there was, a, you, were, um, you were inhaling like you were going to ask me a question. I was just going to say, somebody says it's still on sale. I'm going to assume the bright pads. Bright pads right? on sale. Everything cricket sales go through the end of Tuesday yeah. mountain time. So they should, everything should be still 50% off all the materials, 50% off um, all their tools. The only exception is their um, infusible ink, which is 40% yeah. off. I don't so, know why they didn't so go Kim 50. Schmidt says, you know, I'm not going to lie. I think I need every one. One in every size. I have the nine by nine. Yeah, you do. I mean, I love it's my easy press. So nice to have them in different sizes. I will tell you, and I've never denied this. I have when the easy press came out. Me and Sean were in the audience, and I literally turned to him and I was like, "That's stupid. There's no pressure. Like, for a for a uh, you know like a a typical heat press, you always had to worry about pressure. pressure. And I was like, "There's no pressure. This isn't gonna work." And, um. I have not used my heat press in forever. Carol says you have, have been so helpful, Mr. Kenny. Such a bundle of info. Oh, good. I'm you glad. Are, you are full of info. I know. I'm just full of love and cuteness. Oh, thank you. And you too. Oh, stop. But my, all my stuff is like all my info or all my... Um, your wisdom is something else? No, not my, what's the word I'm thinking of? I um, don't know. My, um, it's like playing the game. I don't know what you're saying. Trivia. All my trivia is usually very weird and off, off the wall. All right, so I'm just heating this up again because I want to do some weeding. And I am going to just get out of this. And the best way I always tell people if you don't know where to weed is just bring up your design again um, or use your bright pad or there is a trick. You can take your sheet and put it wherever you're. So if my light source is coming this way right here, I can see where my cut lines are if I just go at that angle. Yep. So I can just now see where. I'll, now this one, I will say it is a little bit more difficult because this one has a distressed look to it. Mm hmm which means it has um, itty bitty, tiny little distress things here. And they're kind of a pain, but they give it a little bit of character. So I'm gonna come over here, Sean, so you can answer questions because it's gonna take me a little bit of time yeah. to weed this while you... You mind if you come my way just a hair? No problem. There you go, all right. 
So you might see me start using these tweezers. So when I created this file, I was not thinking of, oh, someday I'm gonna have to weed this file. And there is itty bitty little distress marks. And it really does make a difference to get those out. You can see it on Sean's shirt mm -hmm. where those little distress marks are. No, I can't, I'm a little too, too tiny. I can do this though. Dude, I've worked my entire life for someone to say, oh, you're too tiny. Which... Yeah, there's like, you can see some, oops, sorry, you can see some of the little, tiny little holes through here. But once we do it, we'll show you what it looks like more up close. Hi, Heidi. Love my cricket. Me too. So everyone's been asking if we are going to ever post our cameo for review we are um i still don't have the tools i need to get the tools and i need to just make sure before i really go on air with it i learn the machine again because it is a little bit of a different feel and i'm not gonna lie to you it's gonna be hard to compare it next to the maker not because i'm going in with a prejudgment, but because it's two different really systems the maker has been made clear to me works on a gear system which the best way to explain it is it's a uh a gear that's rotating everything where i don't know to be honest what the silhouette it's almost like magnets the magnet on the back is only it has information kind of like a mag strip it tells the machine the, the software on which one you have in there and that's why it's on there or because they are different sizes, it may understand because of the different size that it knows what. I've already broken one of my tools on it. <laughs> yes, you did. You, by the way, you're not able to open the auto blade. Nope, don't open it. Fun fact of the day, guys and gals, can't do it. You're not supposed to do it. Okay, so I do have a lint roller because these little distress marks get stuck everywhere. Mm. Once again, wasn't thinking of this when I designed this file, yeah. but it does, but it does give make, it. It does make it look really nice. It does. Somebody likes your your uh, Easy Press pad. It's got your logo on it, although it is backwards. Well, do you <laughs> want to explain that story, Sean? So I was doing a. Um, Keep in mind, Sean's the one that was sitting at the Easy Press product expert meeting with me. Mm -hmm. They said. Make sure if you're going to do a two-sided item, i.e., to what? i.e., our um, tote, which is what I did one, and then I flipped it over to another. That you must. You can go up on you. They don't need to see me lead. Okay. Um, they said to make sure always make sure that you have whatever is underneath this cover because you're gonna, even though that it's already pressed into your. Um, blank it can still release some of the ink into whatever else is below it. and believe it or not these pads have polyester in them so i did the tote with his logo on one side and then uh, the words on the other if you've seen the video of of our uh, infusion blink i did that and when i flipped it i completely forgot to put that underneath and and fortunately it went right through and did it i hate it it's horrible so this is where this comes into play. I don't know if Sean can go yeah, to this, but yeah, every once in a while I will get a little circle that I can't get to. And these are 651 stab and go tweezers and they work amazing. They also have a pen pen, but I don't know where my pen pens are. And I was given quite a bit of them. I'm not blaming my team, but my team loves the pen pens. Mm -hmm. And now I have no idea where my pen pens are. My phone told, told me that it's time to stand up. Aren't you standing? I thought so. Not that I was. So even though I had pen pens, they're all gone. Do you have an invis in in invisible, infusible ink video on layering? I do. We do. There is a fancy term which is called, I don't know what they call it, but essentially you make it like a puzzle and you put it all together so you can press it all at once. And I'm going to be doing a live on that. Mm -hmm. It's um, actually quite... If you can do it, and it is easier, it is much easier to do it that way. Um, when you have it all together as one big puzzle and put it down, boom, and then it works great. Boom. Boom chakalaka. I know. Leslie D says 651 pen pens are life. Oh, they are if you have them, but you know, when your team takes it. 
they have um, the pen pen and they have the this and they have a tool carrier like it holds everything mm -hmm. and I love all of them the only thing um, I do like about the Caesar tool is it has a little weight to it which I like and it has I am a the pen pen is great but I'm more of a stab and pull towards me and this makes it really nice for that dude did, did I get them all Sean let's double check I don't have it up on the screen. Oh, can I get it up on the screen? Yeah, of course you can. You just need to go to Cricut. Uh, let's see. So just go to new project. Because I didn't save it because I was using the desktop version. Oh. And then just go to where it says upload. Lower right. And then hit view all. It is right it's right there. Do you see it? Yep. Good job, Sean. And then I just need to see if I got it all. So once again, guys and gals, I know that when I made this, I was not probably thinking of the weeding nightmare it would be. Do I have to hit insert image? Yeah. And I don't want to say it's a nightmare. It's just really tiny distresses, and I don't want, obviously... It's so kind have, of what makes the North Face logo. So you should have two on the T, which you do. Then there's one, two, three, four, five on the N of North. You have one, two, three. There might be one in here somewhere. Well, remember, some of them are so tiny we won't That's see true. them. Where am I supposed to have one? Yeah, you only you did four on this one, so there's one, another one like that here. There is. I don't see one. Mm. Oh yeah, I see it. Found it. Found it. Okay. Um, you should have one in the P, which you've got, two in the E, which you've got, and the rest are all good to go. Good to go? Yay! Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Big one. Yes. Looks like you've got them. Hooray. Okay. So, that was fun, wasn't it? Tina says, it's so annoying the desktop version doesn't have spell check. Really? I does it really? hate it. I, every time I go to Cricut, it reminds me, like, you should be using the desktop. And not that I don't like the desktop, but I agree with you. There's certain things that I'm not, like, I don't know. It's not, it's all right. But I also don't use mobile, and I know some people live by mobile. Mm-hmm. Live by it. Okay, this, this is the StarCraft final, and I will tell you, it's sticky stuff. Sticky stuff. It is sticky. Their carrier sheets are very sticky. Yeah, which I like. Okay, now I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to grab my T-shirt, and we're going to bring this T-shirt in right about there. And first and foremost, we will grab my lint roller. Since we have dogs, we want to make sure there's no dogs. Because dog if you are using iron-on or HTV, and you have a dog hair under there, and you fuse it to the shirt, well... You just now have something made with love from dogs. And glitter. And glitter. Because I can, I think I saw a little shine here. Oh, there. just down calm down. I did. I swear. And because this has a lot of those little dots, I will take a lint roller and make sure that I've gotten them all off. Yeah, when you put it down, you can really see them. But their carrier sheets are so sticky. Got you on my TV and Twitch on my phone. All right. So now I'm doing a four finger method here. And then I graciously give Sean a moment. A moment like this. Some people will Do you know who sang that, Sean? Hi. Wasn't it... Um, the French girl. The French girl? Yeah, what's her face? Kelly Clarkson? Oh, Kelly sing that? Oh, sorry. Who are you talking about? Celine uh, Dion? Celine Dion. <laughs> you call Celine Dion one couldn't... of the most iconic singers of our time, the French girl? Well, she's, well, she's French-Canadian, but I could not remember her name. But I do know she's French-Canadian.
<laughs> Listen. Listen, Linda. You do not refer to Celine Dion, one of the most powerful singers of all time, as the French girl. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? I I can't even I, I can't can. even with you right now. I know. Okay. Sorry, there was a lot of little white specks. I'm trying to get those. Okay. The French girl. The French girl. I could not remember her name. It is, she is a icon, a diva. She is like where it's at, not the French girl. What is wrong with you? I'm taking away your gay card. <laughs> All right. I just people. couldn't remember her name. I can't so. with you right now. I can't. I, I literally cannot. I All right. There you go. So here is the North Face. It is on there. We have it set for 285. I am using this. You don't have to, but I like it. This is the Cricut. Um, they call it the iron on protective sheets. I just do this because I do have a heavy hand oh, and okay. I know he is. And um, I don't want to burn my shirt essentially. So it is medium pressure. 10 seconds is all. I'm going to lift it up really quick. And I will be adding just a little bit more is just that, because it is a pretty thick um, their sheet. Their iron so. on protective sheet is really thick. Come on, let's go to the back. And this is a warm peel. So um, it is all done. I'm going to remove my protective sheet and just let it chillax for a sec while it gets nice and instead of hot, it's going to get warmage. The French girl, I can't. I know, I'm sorry. I can't even with you right now, the you French girl. You guys, French did Canadian. you hear that? French <laughs> Canadian. The French girl. Yes. It's Celine Dion, Sean. I know, exactly. I know Thank you, yes. everyone. Yeah, it's Celine Dion. What a no, voice, just... yes. yes. Okay, absolutely. first of all, he didn't know it was Kelly Clarkson. Like, that I was forgot. her winning song of American Idol. Boy, look at all this glitter. Leave it alone. <laughs> let it be itself. Let it, let it rock it out with its glitter out. How did it get all up there? Sean, the glitter loves living here. They have found a residency. They now have dual citizenship here and at obviously 651 Vinyls Warehouse, where it all came from. Mm -hmm. And they're very happy here. So don't, don't be denouncing my glitter. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I see it. It's where it's not supposed to be. Let's move it that way. All right. So we are good at this point. I am going to grab a lint roller to get the glitter off so Sean's OCD doesn't kill him. I don't and, have OCD. But it's bugging you. It's not bugging me. I'm perfectly fine with it. So even though it was kind of a pain to get all of these little dots, it does give it that nice, cool, distressed look, which I love. Now, one thing I will say about um, StarCraft's HTV is it's really it's nice it's it's so thin that yeah. it just feels like it's part of the shirt I mean I know it's there but just when you just run, place your hand over it is like wow you almost can't even feel it it's so good and we'll do a quick flip The French girl. I thought you were talking about like some girl like on maybe America's Got Talent or something. The French girl. I can't with you. <laughs> I literally cannot. I know. So the one thing I do have to say on the StarCraft um, HTV, uh, one thing I do like about it is their carrier sheet is really sticky. So I've had it before where it's not, and when you go to put your iron or your like easy press or your uh, your heat press, it shifts on you because the the carrier sheet shifts. This won't shift. Mm -hmm. It's sticky it stiff. Not shift. So it makes it it makes uh, layering a little difficult, but not that much. All right. But so there great. is our finish. Now everyone always asks, well, that the fate, it looks like they're you know it's wet. Um, when you apply heat to a shirt, fun fact, and you do not pre-wash it, because I bought these right before the show, um, it will do that, but it won't stay that way. No. Don't worry. It's you can see Sean's is fine. Yep. Um, but look at it with the pajamas. Okay, let me bring this up. Let me bring it up. How 
freaking cute is that going to be? That's going to be awesome. The North Pole, the North Face, and then we have this. I tried to get me, Red, and Sean the screen. This green is extremely hard yeah, to find. It is. it is very difficult. It's really hard to find. And I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I don't like white. Um, and black was too much. So this green, I could find like a more of a lime green. I could or find a like Kelly a Kelly green. green but or... this like, this is like a Christmassy green. Mm -hmm. Like it's our rainforest of Chalk Couture basically. So Tisha, if you have never bought or ordered from 651 Vinyl, you will be blown away. Their customer service is the best in anywhere. You'll love them. Uh, they've got everything. It is. They'll help you out with anything you need. When it comes to yeah. this stuff, that is beautiful. That it is fun. Really so, a um, couple things on 651 since you are bringing them up. Um, I did not know 651 was even on the map until I went to um, the uh, Silhouette Summit. And then Troy, who works at 651, who I've known before, um, him and his wife, um, we just met him at a pool and we mm -hmm. just got to talking. and. When people put out big claims out there, like we're the number one in customer satisfaction, we're the number one in shipping and stuff, I'm like, mm, like, I won't stand behind it until I see it. So we went in July to see the warehouse and I was blown away. Blown away. Not only is the warehouse function at such a high capacity, but the customer service is amazing. So their customer service department like will take customer service calls on Silhouette software, Cricut Design Space, they'll walk people through how to mirror stuff, how to use it. Um, their orders get out so fast, like people you, get their orders in like two days. They're in Kentucky and they can get um, our stuff, stuff here usually in a day and a half, two days. And Hawaii can get them in three. Yeah, no it's crazy. Um, it's so I definitely awesome. recommend them. Are they the cheapest on their stuff? Probably not. I've seen cheaper stuff, but their customer service is amazing. Plus everything there, if you use our link with Get5, you'll get 5% off, which is yep. amazing. Um, their customer service is unparalleled. What's the difference with StarCraft Final versus other brands? You know, I, I will, I've said this once and I'll say it again. It really does come down to a personal preference. Um, so in the beginning, when I first started five years ago, Cricket had iron on and it was, it was junk. And I even told Cricket, I was like, this stuff is junk. I don't like it. I didn't like their vinyl. Um, so that's when I started using Caesar and um, Orifile or Oracle and I will say then Cricut a year and a half ago re-released vinyl and re-released their iron-on. They're the only ones in the industry called iron-on and I was blown away. Their, their new iron-on and vinyl is up to par with the rest. Um, Starcraft, uh, if you're a big fan, I would say of kind of a, a Caesar, it feels a lot like Caesar. Yeah. But so does the new Cricut Iron On. So it is going to be what color do you want to roll? The big thing I think people don't like about Cricut is they can't buy stuff in a 12 by 12 sheet. You have to buy it in a roll. Um, so I, I will tend to talk to a lot of people at events and stuff and say, well, why do you choose to go with, you know, Caesar versus um, Cricut Iron On? And a lot of people say, I, I want to be able to buy it in a 12 by 12 sheet and it comes shipped to me, you know, where I can mm -hmm. sort it and stuff like that. So I get that. Um, it's easier to use and stuff like that because even the new Cricut iron on it's great. I love it They claim that it should lay flat mine doesn't it still curls up on yeah. it, which isn't a big and deal the, But it still I, is a thing. Isn't it doesn't Troy have all their stuff? You can get literally everything you want in 12 by 12 if you want it that way I think so almost everything yeah. is done by 12 tribe. You can get yeah. it in three foot rolls five foot or five foot rolls and Even more if you need it yeah, literally. If you need like a yeah. whole buttload mm -hmm. of white, you can so I, I do think it still comes down to a preference. I still use Cricut Iron On. I won't lie. Um, I I will say the last time we did a Iron On shirt, we used some of the old Cricut Iron On. It's trash. You know you're using it, and I hate to say that. Back four years ago, this is stuff that I had that is just old. It just doesn't work. You can tell a difference with mm -hmm. Cricket's new iron on. Oh, yeah. It, it's, Night it's and day. Um, this um, Starcraft acted very much like Caesar to me. Yep. Very much. And they have beautiful colors. I mean, there's just, um, I have a whole is, bunch. This is a small sample. This is a small sample. And they have vinyl vinyl, too, which is, yeah. you've got some of the, if you but guys saw when you go to this camera. Yeah. Um, this is some of the colors. So I like the bright neon and that stuff, but it lays flat, which I like, obviously. Um, it weeds beautifully. So um, so this has been sitting in a roll for 
who knows how since we've had it a couple pull months it apart yeah boom, flies it right up flat so um in the in all i won't lie uh troy sent us this because starcraft has been coming out with so many stuff they've come out with glitter now they've come out with vinyl mm -hmm. they're the ones that had that 3d holographic vinyl mm -hmm. they came out with glitter we have the, also the mint. they have a the starcraft mint press which oh, is beautiful gorgeous. so i've been just testing it out because it is a newer um I believe it's a newer company. I don't know that much about them. So, uh, but I do know Troy carries a lot of it. So mm -hmm. I've been trying it out to see how I like it. So, Love it. so there you go. That is our project. You can go back up on us for okay. a sec. Um, Melissa goes, I really prefer to screen print. You know, it is a give and take. Some people say, why would you do, wh why would you choose screen printing or no, why would you choose using iron on or HTV over screen printing? There's only one reason I usually turn to that and that's custom designs. I can't do this screen printing unless I made a screen of this. So if you want a custom design like that, you do have to use kind of iron on or HTV um, and stuff. So there you go. Is Starcraft not by 651? Six fit, not by the actual company of 651 or which is? So 651 is just a distributor of StarCraft. Yes. So they just, like, 651 distributes for Caesar, for Orifel, for um, StarCraft. StarCraft, for, like, this kind of stuff, like, their tools, I think that they source those yeah. themselves. Yeah. But, like, they're, like, a distributor or warehouse. They, they, I mean, they also distribute stuff for Cricket. They distribute stuff for Silhouette. So they're essentially a mm -hmm. buyer, and then they take care of the customer service, the fulfillment, and stuff like that. Yes. So, um, so yeah. yeah. Uh, but... Um, yeah, you guys should try this HTV. It's awesome. Uh, once again, this is the time. If you were thinking about taking advantage of the Cricut sale, definitely take advantage of it. Remember, it's 50% off all materials, 50% off all tools, 40% off infusible ink, lowest prices of the season. You will um, get half off. Then if you're a Cricut Access member, you get an additional 10% off. Then if you use my code 10 Ken, you get an additional 10% off. So if something is $10, it's gonna be on sale for $5. Cricket Access members get another 50 cents off. It brings it down to 450. If you use 10 Ken, it will take 45 cents off. It'll bring it down to $4.05. It's almost a 60% savings. Same with Silhouette, their Black Friday sale um, has been extended. So all of their deals on their exclusive machines, their tools and accessories are 50% off. You do need to use KK Bundle on that one to unlock those savings. Mm -hmm. Um, Arteza gave us a new coupon code, so we have our 10% off coupon code, which is Ken's Creations 20. Um, and then, of course, anything at 651 vinyl, you get 5% off just using Get 5. And I mean pretty much everything. So they have amazing blank Santa sacks, they have tea towels, they have pillows, they have wine bags, I mean everything. So awesome. it's, it's an really amazing sale. Awesome. Um, and once and for all, if you want this file or access to a whole bunch of other files like for Disney or shirts, a lot of shirt files, card files, um, Patreon members do get access to all of that. Uh, the minimum uh, do, uh, do support is $2 uh, and that helps this channel. And don't forget if you want to uh, be part of the Ken and Sean official Facebook group, the Ken and Sean show. Mm -hmm. uh, just request access. It will be me and Sean this Friday with special guest. I don't know what we're doing. Everyone's kind of recommend doing Pinterest roulette where we just randomly pick something Pinterest and then I try to do it, but I'm under the influence. <laughs> so it could get bad. We'll see. So express yourself um asked Heidi. did you get your foil pens i did order it i found it at walmart for 49 dollars, which was a really good kit so i have that coming but i don't have any of the foil sheets so i need to look for those um but i want to try that out um i will tell you i didn't i wasn't gonna buy it until jamie sent me her christmas card as soon as i saw that card that jamie sent me with that foil in it i was like okay now i need one that looks amazing because it it's like embedded into the paper which is super nice so um, so yeah, there is that. Uh, be looking uh, for the lookout for more Glowforge videos. Mm -hmm. We're really excited. Um, we actually are going to be working hopefully more with that machine and showing you guys how to use it. It is a big investment. I'm not going to lie, but that machine has been pretty fundamentally changing for what we can do with our crafts and our chocolate tour stuff. 
I just put in the comments the link to uh, how you can get to it. You push that link and then you can see it right under there uh, with everything else, but it shows you where the uh, Kevin yes. Sean Show's official page where you can click on that. Yes, yes. So if you guys don't have any other questions, thank you so much for joining. We will be live tomorrow is Wednesday, so there's a Ken from the car tomorrow. And then um, uh, a chocolate tour project. And then Thursday is up in the air, I'm not sure. And then Friday will be the Ken and Sean official show. So we won't be live anywhere. You'll have to be in that Facebook group. Mm -hmm. The reason why is we used to do it on YouTube. We used to do it on Facebook. We got reported. The new COPA laws, we're just not doing it. So, But it's on... It's in a closed group, so the only Facebook. people that see it is Facebook, yeah. Yeah, closed group, Facebook. Closed group, yep. yeah. What's the so. best vinyl to use on an iPhone case? Probably. It depends on your, if you're going straight on your vinyl, if you're going on a cover. Um, I, I mean, right now, I really like StarCraft's vinyl. Their vinyl is really good. And they got some really cool um, little stuff. And that's probably why I like it is they have some really cool holographic patterns. I don't know where they're in my well, room. I need it. I Do know, you know where they're at? I uh, know, but I know where the uh, other thing is. Your sampler. Okay, so here's the deal. The reason we don't know where anything is is because Sean and Ryan are in charge of putting away supplies. And sometimes, let's just say, I will find them three months later and I'm like, why is this in this drawer? And they're like, oh, we didn't know. They had iron on mixed in with vinyl, which is a cardinal sin in my rule book. And then basically, I know what you're saying. Well, if you want to make sure they get in the right place, make sure you put them away yourself. But listen, Gina's. Listen, Linda. I don't know where he's at. He's gone. Sean, are you gone? No, I thought it was right here. This. Yeah, I don't think we have that anymore. I think a certain somebody. Here it is. It's right here, you silly Billy. Is that it? You're so silly. Oh, oh no, it's not. No. I lied. No, that's not it. Right. I don't know what you guys did with it then. But the samplers, like, right here. It's fine, Sean. Gosh darn. Hmm. We have a sampler somewhere. I only have the, this sampler. I don't yeah. have the StarCraft. No, this is just the vinyl. I thought we had the StarCraft one mm -mm. too. Oh. I don't think I ever had a StarCraft one. No, oh, I thought we did. Because it was brand new when we got there, so I don't know yeah. why we would have it. So, there you go. Oh, well. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions or anything, let us know. Thank you for using our links. They help support our channel, and we thank you for that. And take advantage of these sales. If you want one of those Opal Ice Machines, go get it while it's on sale. And other than that, thank you guys so much for the support and love. We will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everybody, if I can get this to work.